So I just got back from a flight where the visibility this morning was pretty low. So it got me thinking about uh, can helicopters fly in fog? So this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Rick James from The Pilot Teacher and today I'm going to talk about can helicopters fly in fog? Uh, sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. It all depends on the kind of operation that you are doing, the kind of aircraft you're flying, and the actual weather conditions themselves. So stick around, we're gonna go and have a look. So to fly a helicopter, there's kind of two kind of flight rules that uh, as pilots we operate under. One is VFR, which is visual flight rules. And the second is IFR, which is instrument flight rules. Now for most pilots, uh, we fly under what's called the VFR flight rule system. And that basically means I've got to be able to see the surface and see the horizon to fly the aircraft. Under IFR, I don't have to see anything outside of the aircraft. Once I've taken off, uh, I can punch into clouds and fly just by sole reference to the instrumentation. Now, for a helicopter to be able to do that, it's usually got the full IFR instrumentation suite in it. It's got autopilot. Uh, generally you want two engines just so that you have got more uh, reliability and basically a second chance of uh, keeping flying if the first donkey quits. Um, and they're just more automated and flying in the cloud can be very, very difficult to do. And if you are not trained, um, the majority of time that pilots end up in the cloud, it's a, a fatal uh, accident. So IFR is basically, I'm not flying looking outside of the aircraft, I'm just looking solely at the instrumentation. So that leaves VFR. So majority of pilots fly VFR, so we're looking outside. I'm flying along, looking at the ground, looking at the horizon to ensure that my aircraft is staying upright. Now, when we get fog, that horizon can disappear. And depending on how thick the fog is, it's gonna dictate how far you can see. Now fog generally dictates the, the visibility. So for most VFR operations um, and VFR flights, you're gonna need at least one statute mile of visibility. Um, some operations, some companies, they can go down to half a mile and even some of the offshore operations like Cougar in Canada, uh, maybe um, Bond in the North Sea in the UK. Um, I know Cougar for sure can go down to an eighth of a mile visibility. That's insane, that's 600 feet. So when you're sitting on the runway and you look at the edge lights down the side, that's three. And what they do is they get into a hover, they start going, they get to 80 knots at 400 feet and then off they go into the clouds, into the fog. Um, <laughs> just mind blowing. Uh, 600 feet blows my mind. I've taken off in uh, half a mile at my last job in an IFR machine. And uh, yeah, it takes some getting used to, but 600 feet is nuts. So for pilots, um, most operations is one mile. Um, some companies, like our company that I fly for, we have a uh, exception that allows us to go down to half a mile but that is only to say retrieve crews that are out in the field and the weather's come in um, or for uh, a medevac operation to go and get somebody that's just been injured but we can't go and launch a job if it's below one mile it's just it's stupid there's no reason to go off playing in the fog when you don't need to, it's weather, it's a job. You can wait till tomorrow, you can wait an hour, you can wait a couple of hours just till the sun burns it off, but generally a mile is our minimum for launching off. So one of the cool things about the company that I work for is we have the rule of nine. And basically what that means is, if I've got three miles of visibility, I need a 600 foot ceiling. If I've only got two miles of visibility, I need a 700 foot ceiling. And if I've got one mile of visibility, I need at least an 800 foot ceiling. So it's just starting to factor in um, better weather conditions and it's hard set minimum. So 
um, it's easy to make a call when a customer is there and you're like, sorry guy, we've got one mile, but we've only got 500 foot ceiling. It's company limitations, we can't go yet. Um, so playing around the fog is okay, providing you weigh up the risks. If I've got to do a cross country flight and the, <laughs> the weather is a mile and 800 feet, am I gonna wanna go off in that? Probably not, especially if I've got rising terrain. Um, so yes, helicopters can fly in fog, but only to a certain um, visibility distance. Cougar, they can go down to 600 feet. <laughs> Me, I can go down to a mile in regular flight or half a mile. The other problem that you get with fog, especially around about the winter time or the fall and the spring, is the temperature. The second we start to get down to around about plus three degrees to about minus five, minus eight degrees, um, that fog can instantly stick to the airframe in the form of ice. And ice on a helicopter or any aircraft is a bad, bad thing. If it starts sticking to the main rotors, it can basically create a rough surface on the surface of the airfoil, which reduces lift and increases drag by a huge amount. And for you to keep flying, you've got to increase power, increase power. You've only got a limited amount of power. Once you hit that power limit, aircraft's gonna start descending. Same for a fixed wing. Uh, you run out of power, you're gonna start descending. So flight into known icing conditions is pretty much prohibitive for pretty much every VFR aircraft. Um, so if you've got fog and it's around about that minus five, plus five temperature, be careful because you're going to start picking up ice and if you pick up ice and run out of power and basically your aircraft's just going to be slowly descending into the ground which not good you tend to lose mother nature always wins and the ground is harder than your head so to basically quickly sum up the question can helicopters fly in fog yes you can the thicker the fog the more advanced the aircraft needs to be you need to be instrument rated and the aircraft needs to also be instrument rated and then you can go and fly in it, providing you're not gonna pick up icing. If you're gonna get up icing, you also need to be in a helicopter that is approved for flight into known icing conditions. So flying in fog is one thing, flying around when there's fog around, that's something completely different. And basically, so long as you can see the surface and you've got at least a mile visibility, and you can maintain your minimum altitudes, then you can fly around all day in fog. But the second it turns to ice fog, the second your visibility reduces, the second the ceiling reduces, it's time to call it a day, turn around, sit on the ground, wait it out. So that's how helicopters can fly in fog. So if you found this helpful, if you found it interesting, if this is your first time here, Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be uh, aware of when my new videos come out. I try to get one out every week, uh, just something interesting, aviation related, whatever I can find as I'm moseying around the airport. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, thumbs up, really appreciate that. And if you like these videos, check out my other ones here. Hopefully you'll find those helpful too. And if you do, I'll see you on the next one.